Hello, it's Friday and isn't it fun? It's great to be back again. Today, we were talking about where, got it, okay. Always a surprise with Facebook Lives, always a surprise. Now I've got metrics happening and all kinds of things. So let me just share this to the group, okay. All right, so hopefully we're all rolling and we're ready to go now. Um, welcome, welcome to Friday. I am really super pumped for today because we've been talking about the qualities of powerful women and now we're talking about where does that power come from? And the power comes differently to women than it does to men. So where does that power come from? So Lynn Andrews, the author says, Lynn V. Andrews, the author says, for power to come to you, you must make a place within yourself for that power to live. And for many women, me included, that's the womb space. And if there are men watching this, you know, let's face it, we are all born from a mother's womb. And we each have a womb space. For men, you still have a womb space. It's that second chakra. It's between your belly button and the crotch. That's your second chakra. That's where your womb space sits. And if you've had a hysterectomy or you don't have a physical womb, you still have a womb space. So just think about that. Think about what a womb goes through during a woman's lifetime. Well, we're all shot out of a womb or cut out of a womb. Somehow we got here out of the womb. But just think about what it goes through. There's strength, there's resilience, perseverance. Every month, the letting go for many years. So if you're, can you start to feel the vibration of that power within you, that power inside your womb space. That power within you, it's ready to expand because during this time especially, we have an opportunity to connect deeper. And now's the time to let go of the past, rebirth your own life and to manifest to the power, beauty and abundance of joy that you desire. Where am I going with all of this? Well, this week, I'm so excited, I decided to rekindle the Zest Wisdom Circle for Women. Sorry guys, it's women's only. And the Zest Wisdom Circle is a safe, sacred space for women to reconnect with themselves and with others. It's a place for opening the heart and reclaiming the power lost to life's experiences. And I'll tell you, it's a lot of fun. I um, did this live where we would gather in a circle and we've done it in a few different locations. Here's how Tracy described it. There is so much I took away from sharing with these groups of women facilitated by Linda that I ever would have received alone. It was a safe place to share, open up, laugh, cry, and sometimes just listen. I've attended Linda's speaking engagements. I've read her books, Zest Your Life. I haven't introduced myself yet. So I thought I knew what to expect from the Zest Wisdom Circle. I was wrong. It was so much more. Well, I'll let you in on a little secret on why it was more. It's because I've been hiding and dodging the fact that I've been in shamanic studies since I went on my vision quest in the year 2003, formally studying this, really getting to know the ancient wisdom of women that was inside of me, but now I know how to express it. So just think about that. It's been almost 20 years since I started on this journey. I have a lot of that knowledge now. And that's what I shared at the Wisdom Circle. That's why Tracy didn't know what to expect. Because it's in my book. 
if you have the eyes to see. And Tracy's reread my book, I don't know how many times, but I'm sure after being in the wisdom circle, she saw things differently. So today I'm announcing the webinar kickoff for the Zest Wisdom Circle with the topic of womb power, creating resilience. Because if we need resilience, this is the time we need resilience. Woohoo! That's great, Sarah. The I will be posting the link for just send me a private message and I'll add you to the list because I haven't quite figured out how to get the form working on my website yet. That's my project for this afternoon. But I'll send you a note, Sarah. Just drop your name in the comments and I'll send you a note of where the link is. So why the womb? The womb is where the power resides. We're all born, like I said, of that womb. And your womb connects you as women to our mother, our grandmother, our great-great-grandmother, our great-great-grandmother. It's that unbroken lineage to the divine feminine energy. There's so much of what is written about creating resilience is anchored in the mind. Learn to relax, practice thought awareness, edit your outlook, learn from your mistakes and failures, choose your response and more. Oh, really? Do you really think that's going to work on any kind of a long-term solution? It's not. For true power and to create lasting resilience, our healing must be anchored in our womb. There's more to say about that. So in the webinar, mark the date in your calendar right now. It's on Women's Day, March the 8th, International Women's Day, 7 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. So save the date. And in just one hour, we're going to cover your womb's sole purpose. And I never can't decide if I should spell soul, S-O-L-E or S-O-U-L. So we're going to discover your womb's sole purpose, what really builds resilience, and how to heal and strengthen that vital connection. The vital connection between womb power and creating resilience because they go together. Now, why did I choose Monday? Well, Monday gets its name from the Anglo-Saxon word, Munda Dago, which translates to the moon's day, the second day of the week in Nordic cultures was devoted to worshiping the goddess of the moon. And girls born on Mondays were given the name Mona in ancient Britain, as it was the old English word for moon. Did you know that? So I'm going to drop that into the comments. I think I can add that in there, what we're going to be covering in that hour. Stand by. I will give you the link to the Zoom. But in the meantime, do put in March the 8th, 7 p.m. Eastern time, one hour, and you're going to have an action-packed webinar. And it's just the start of bringing the Zest Wisdom Circle for Women back. Because I believe that when women truly step into their leadership and into their power, we can build a better world. And I can help you tap into that. Thank you so much. And I will see you next week. Thanks.